COVID-19 outbreak has demonstrated. The uh, infectious diseases, especially novel infectious diseases like the coronavirus, respect no borders. They travel around the world in um, uh, incredibly rapid fashion, as we saw from the initial outbreak in China to the fact that the virus is now present in virtually every country and on all continents. In that kind of a situation, we need, we as Americans desperately need to have global situational awareness of where the, the, the virus is spreading, how it's spreading, and, and to gather that information in real time. There's no better organization in the world to collect, organize, and share that information than the WHO. Because the world is still comprised of countries, we need the cooperation of every country to gather and share information as rapidly as possible. We get a lot of benefit from sharing in this global enterprise of collecting and sharing epidemiological information. You don't know how to fight a disease unless you know where it is. Uh, probably even more importantly, and I know this from my own experience, I had the privilege of leading the uh, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Office of Global Health Affairs during the last pandemic, which was the H1N1 flu pandemic. And I know that we had a very close working relationship at the staff level, particularly with CDC staff that were stationed in Geneva at the WHO headquarters. And I was on virtually constant phone communications with senior leadership, including the Director General, as we shared information about that flu pandemic. I know that is continued to this day, and the U.S. has a very special relationship there that helps us get even better information. And then finally, as we look ahead to addressing the uh, COVID over the course of the next 12 to 18 months, the, U the World Health Organization plays an indispensable role in leading and convening key researchers, um, key scientists uh, who are working on the things we need to fight the disease, namely new and better diagnostics, uh, antiviral drugs that can help, if not cure COVID, at least help reduce the severity of the disease. And then finally, as we work together on uh, vaccines, uh, not only producing them, but distributing them to people around the world so that we're all protected. So the bottom line is in a world where we're all interconnected, where diseases can fly as fast as an airplane from one country to another, we need the World Health Organization to help us collect and organize information, and we need the World Health Organization to help us uh, work collaboratively with other countries to address um, a disease like COVID-19.